Hello guys, welcome back to another video of me, Super Seven, and today my friends, we are playing on Terraria PC Edition, yeah, and we're being joined by the noob Ella Gemx, who you can find a link to her channel down in the comments down below, uh, but Emma is going to be joining us, she was going to join us with a mic, but basically our setup is an awful thing, so she's just going to play as a little, little NPC who's going to be just there, you know, as a guide, but it's useful is Kyle over here, who does now, you know, and, and stuff like that, so, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, um, do that to her, yeah, <laughs> she just got ripped in pieces, ah, well, hey, by the way, Emma, the house is on fire, Emma, the house is on fire, Emma, the house is on fire. You've got to put the, the put the fire out, Emma. You're meant to be a useful guide. You're meant to help me out. Put the house out of fire, man. Nah, she's not doing it. She's not doing it. She's about as useful as a chocolate fire guard. Yeah. Anyways, um, but no, all in seriousness, we have started playing on the PC version because 1.4 is just around the corner, literally. And we wanted to get ourselves uh, into the swing of things on the PC edition. So... We have gone ahead and given ourselves a little bit of an advancement. We now have 400 health at the beginning of our Let's Play. Uh, we also have all of this mana. And the reason why we've done this is really just to push ourselves to get a little bit further um, and stuff like that. So we're not spending too much time mining wood and all trying to get life crystals. Just so that we could just advance a little bit more and get into the nitty gritty stuff rather than the really boring bits. I know that's like somebody's going to be screaming at the screen, but that's the point of Terraria. I understand that is the point of Terraria, but we wanted to have some fun. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So today, uh, what I want to do is go looking for ores. Well, that's because we still need to advance our armor. At the moment, we have wooden armor, and I would like to at least get to copper, iron, or even get to platinum. Um, but that would be like hopefully something we can get done um, But yeah, but first of all we need to actually go and find a cave because we can just start our own cave Obviously, but I think it'd be nice if we were to go and find a cave uh, on the surface That would be a very very nice thing to do although it is actually becoming night time So the chances are we're probably gonna die um, so yeah, I'm not sure if it's a very good idea us traveling at night, but we will still try and travel at night time But first of all to do that we are gonna need to craft some torches because it is gonna be extremely dark and um, Another thing I've done is I've zoomed in uh, To my game and I don't know if you guys like it when your character has been zoomed in So if you would like me to zoom it out, I mean I can do uh, but if you are those who like it being zoomed in Do please tell me in the comments down below so I know that I am doing right and Hey, that's pretty neat. So we didn't actually have to go that far. There is a cave right here um, And luckily we have some rope from a slime that we killed um, And I just want to get up there because there is a chest and hopefully there's something decent inside So we have uh, a hasty guide to plant fiber corbit, uh, cordage I'm not sure what that does it allows the collection of vine rope uh, from vines. Oh, okay. That's cool. That is actually pretty useful I'll let Emma have that because then she can break all the vines and get a ton of like rope for it uh, Shurikens, I'll split those in half for Emma to have some as well um, And I'll take some of these health potions um, But look at this and there's another chest. Let's go and see what Emma has found uh, It won't let me in the chest because Emma's in there. So Emma's just taking out some arrows I've just looked over to her screen um, but if Emma gets out of the chest, she'll let me go and have a little look at what's inside or maybe she'll just take everything I'm just watching her and she literally looted everything. So we have some tin bars and some wooden boomerangs um, But yeah, that, that's it because Emma likes to take everything that's useful You know, nah, I'm joking. To be honest, jokes on her, the tin is much better than um, what, what she took. So yeah, maybe she was being kind, maybe she wasn't being kind, I don't know but still, I don't think she deserves to be to be told she was doing fine. She's, you know, she's, she's a banana. She, she's a banana. She smells and it's all that good stuff. So I just see another chest down here, which I want to go towards. And I'm not really sure what we can get. I think we can get um, the climbing claws or the spike claws in here, which would be very useful for when we're going down inside caves. 
floor and onto the side of blocks, which would be very nice to have. So if we just go ahead and light this place up, there is a zombie coming for me. Um, I hope Emma's okay. Emma's just over there doing her own thing, jumping up and down. Uh, let's go ahead and take you out. There we go, mate. Oh, oh no, he nearly pushed me down that hole. That could have gone terribly wrong. Uh, we have a recall potion, some lesser healing potions, some sh more shurikens, some grenades. Let's go and blow Emma up. I, I mean, what, what did I say? I didn't say anything about blowing up Emma. No, 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 no. I wouldn't do such a thing. I'm not an evil boyfriend. No way. That's not something I would do at all. Um, but let's go ahead um, and have a look. So right here we have a demon altar. That's what that is. That's a demon altar, just in case anyone didn't know. Um, but we can go ahead and light up this cave and see if there's anything else down here. I think there's some water over here, but I'm not really too sure because we can't get over there unless we mine. And I'm feeling pretty lazy today, so we're not going to go over there at the moment. Maybe at some point in the future. There is some cobwebs, though. That would be useful uh, to get silk if we want to make a bed to set up our spawn points. But, you know, there's no real point to doing that at the moment. Uh, let's have a little look and see what we've got down here. Um, there is a red slime. Emma, I'm going to need your help. There's a red slime. I mean, I'm not too scared because we have got a lot of health. But, you know, there's still little pesky things, you know. Still going to be a little bit worried about what they're going to do to you. Uh, let's have a look and see if I can make some more torches. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm going to need a bunch of these when you're mining. It's pretty insane. And Tori, you do need to make torches. I think, to be honest, one of the most crafted items must be torches. And that's probably more than, like wooden backgrounds and wooden backgrounds get made a lot so i wouldn't be surprised if it's like one of the most crafted items i wonder if there is a way to find out what's the most crafted item and oh my goodness did you see that i literally just avoided a boulder from coming down and hitting me because of this uh luckily it's been deployed already because otherwise emma right there would have just died so she's very lucky um but yeah let's go down here so i've got some rope and i'll use that again that'll just Get us down a little easier. Oh no, oh no, this is not going well. All right, we've got to go back up, go back up, and let's just place some blocks here so we can place down some torches and light the place up. And Emma's in a bit of a fight. Should I help her or should I not? Mm, I don't know. I'll help her. I'll be nice. I'll be nice today. And let's go ahead and put a block along here so I can go and have a look in this little ravine down here because there is literally now here. Okay, I thought there was going to be something here, but there wasn't. So. Yeah, that, that's, that was as useful as a chocolate fire guard. A bit like Emma. So, Emma's probably going to beat me up after this stream. Or this video. I'm so used to doing streams. <laughs> I call it a stream, but it's a video. Uh, we've got some silver ore. Nice. That's going to help out big time. Um, got to watch out for these slimes. They're still very, very pesky, as I said. And, you know, you never know when they're going to be coming around the corner. Oh, no. No, not one of them. Okay, that's different. This guy I am actually scared of because they can do so much damage and they have so much health. Please, Emma, I can see you watching this. Help me. Help. All right, I'm coming back. I'm going to bring it back up to Emma. Emma can deal with it. Emma can deal with it. Um, oh, Emma's actually come to, to help me now. Okay, I'll be nice. I'll be nice. But this guy is evil. I wouldn't go too close to him. He's got 70 health. Um, so just be careful, Emma. Oh, well, she might get hurt. <laughs> Oh, I see why now. Uh, yeah, it's because we're inside of a desert biome uh, that they're starting to spawn. And oh no, Emma's getting outnumbered here. I'm going to just jump in there and help out. Come on, let's just go for this. It's a massive, great big fight to the end. And to be honest, we're not doing too great. But you know what? We'll try. And he is dead. Yes, and Emma made some jester arrows or something like that. Nice, that's really good. So that saved up up there. We literally got saved by Emma's jester arrows. Those things are amazing, honestly. Once like it doesn't even matter what bow you have because they're just so good. Jester arrows. I love jester arrows. Um, other than jester arrows, my other favourite one um, is flaming arrows. And I know that they come before jester arrows, uh, but they are they actually aren't too bad. They're easy to make and that's pretty good. Oh, by the way, I've just found platinum ore. And I've just realised I'm not placing down any torches, which is not a good idea. Uh, not because it's... I don't think it stops anything from spawning by placing down torches. I could be wrong. Um, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, no. Look at these guys. Oh, no. No. Emma. I am going to die. Oh, no. I'm going to die. Oh, great. No. Oh. This is not good. Okay. He's gone down there. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. There is a structure in here. But I'm not sure if I want to go. Oh, there's a chest. Yes, I want to go in there. 
But how do we get in? So we're gonna have to. Is that quicksand? Is that why he fell through? Sandstone? I don't know. I've never actually uh, played in this biome because we got it quite late on the console. Um, so obviously, oh yeah, a lot of you might not know that I'm very new to playing the PC edition, and so therefore. Um, I'm not actually too sure with every single feature of what's inside this, this version. Although, we are basically up to date now on console, so technically we have everything. But I've just never really spent a lot of time in this biome. Uh, let's just quickly avoid these guys, push them back. Oh, wow, they've got so much damage, or so much health even. Um, let's just try and dodge. Nice, we are going to take one of them out at least. Hopefully we can take them both out. And he is gonna die. Or maybe not. Oh, we go. Oh, that one's dead. There we go. And we can take this one out now. Come on, die. Don't don't pounce on me. Yes, we got him. Nice. Let's have a look and see what we got. So we got shoe spikes. Sick. That's awesome. We can add those. Uh, we got recall potions again. We got some silver bars. Nice. This is what I'm talking about. Some shurikens, some potions. And we got ourselves some torches. Nice, nice, nice. And some cash. So not too bad at all no way definitely not so this bookcase i'm going to pick that up and i'm going to take up these statues because they're going to be useful i think i'm not sure if you can use these i think you can use these to make a little farm and if emma wants to go down there and grab that ore uh, that's over there then she can i'm just going to go ahead and grab this button ore, which we're going to use oh so here's a really interesting story we don't actually know why it happened uh, but when Emma joined this world, she created a brand new character. And for some reason, inside of her inventory, there was Platinum. And she hadn't ever played it before. So, I don't know if any of you guys know of that bug or anything. But they had pl she had Platinum when she started her character inside of her inventory. It was a bit weird. But, you know, we got rid of it. We binned it because we didn't want to be cheating or anything like that. And for some reason, I can't break this mug. Is that because this pickaxe can't break that? I'm not sure. Well, I take it is that, but here you go. Let's get on the minecart. I'm going to go for a little... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, that's a bad idea. Right, now I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again and go this way and see if we can light up as we go along. So, uh, yeah. The, wow, this, this biome is big. And, oh, my goodness, I've got no torches. I need torches. Oh, wow, it takes you all the way to, like, a corruption biome, I believe. So, we're pretty pretty good there if we need to get there pretty fast we've already got a train for it that's pretty nice and yeah i mean it's an all right place it's not the best but i mean there's quite a few different places you can go let's try and get off of our our train i can't remember how to dismount myself from a train oh yeah i think it's that one there we go i did it <laughs> i did it eventually and what is around us? Okay, no. so we have a natural cave. Yes, this is the kind of cave I want. Not one of these ones where we have ant, ant lions and whatever they're called that are going to chew our brains out and destroy us. Not all those kind of guys, no way. Um, but yeah, look at that. We have some amethyst here, which we can use to get a magic staff at some point, which will be really useful. As for Emma, I don't know where she is. She's sort of lost. I'm watching her screen right now. She's been struggling to get off the minecart just like I was there. Um, I think she's actually about to die. She's got a lot of um, googlies on top of her right there, so they're going to try and take her out. Uh, let's go ahead and light this place up a little bit. And let's see what we can get to. I'm not sure if there's anything down here, but obviously that's the whole idea of mining, trying to find stuff, looking down in the caves. So, yeah, we're really excited for 1.4. I mean, there are so many awesome features that are coming to the game, like the pogo sticks and different mounts that are coming. And we really can't wait till they come into the game, just because it'll be really nice and fresh. And I really do believe this update is going to be bigger and better than 1.3. This is going to be one of those updates that... It's just going to be all updates. I really can't wait for Journey's End. It is going to be an awesome dot update. It's, it's definitely my, one of my favourite updates. It's definitely up there um, from what I've seen. I obviously haven't played it yet, so I can't really give it a true representation of what I think it's going to be like. But I'm even sure, like, just from the screenshots that we've seen of the new weapons, even the bosses that we could be encountering, um, it's, it just looks really good. I really can't wait to make some videos on it. And for any of you that don't know, uh, I will be streaming... Um, on it, so I will be streaming that. Um, also, I just 
realized. I, I totally didn't realize, even though Emma just made a big deal. Uh, she just died. Whoopsies. Emma just died from uh, an ant lion or whatever it was. So, yeah. There's an iron. Nice. So we can get this and we can make an iron anvil, which will be useful because we need an iron anvil in, in order to make some better armor, um, some better, like, weapons and stuff that we really need to upgrade on. This is going to help out big time. And I think there's some topaz there, which I'm going to pick up. Or, oh, actually, no. There's some more amethyst. This is going to help. This is really going to help because the more of that, the better we can uh, get. So I don't know what um, loadout I'm going to use, actually. That's something I haven't really thought about. I don't know if I'm going to be a ranger, um, a mage, or um, or anything. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Like, I'm actually really not sure what character I'm going to go for or, or loadout. Yeah. Um, I need some more torches. So we're going to put those. Oh, wow. This cave's massive. Oh, it brings you back up here. No, go back. I don't want any of those ant lions after me. No way. They killed Emma. And do I go in Avenger? Probably not because I don't want to die, but there you go. Um, I'm still underwater. I'm out of the water now. Uh, we're going somewhere else. I really do like the fact that there's random minecarts in this game. Just because the fact that it feels like you can adventure around an endless cave system. It just makes it feel really interesting, really nice and fun. I would say that I don't know if it's like a fact, but... It feels like the caves on the PC version are actually bigger uh, than the ones that we get on the console version. Um, there is a spider. Wow, look, there's a spider chest, which I just saw. And we've just got a web slinger. So that means that we do have a hook now in our first episode. And we have a hook. Awesome. Um, we have some platinum bars. We have some archery potions, some fawns potions, some recoil potions, some flaming arrows. They're my favorite. And just arrows also, which are also my favorites. Um, I kind of love both of them. So let's go ahead and put those there because they're the most powerful anyway. Um, but yeah, actually what I was saying, because I don't think I really covered it, but um, the reason why... Oh no, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here, definitely. Um, oh no. Okay. Recall potion. I'm not dying. So, yeah. The, oh my goodness, I'm in the minecart in the house. That was weird. Um, so yeah, the reason why I like the flaming arrows so much is because they're really efficient to make. Literally, all you need is a torch and a normal arrow, and you don't lose anything with it. It's pretty good. I like those. Um, and they do more damage than normal arrows, so, you know, nothing to, to moan about there. But we have done really well. For our first episode, we have done really, really well. So I'm going to go ahead and put down this chest and inside of it i'm going to put everything we managed to gather today uh we have got our iron we've got some platinum we've got some silver we've got some tin uh we've got some potions and other awesome items so that does mean in the next episode we'll go for another spot of mining we'll see what we've got and then we can potentially start looking at taking on a boss and then upgrading and then taking on a boss and upgrading and such and etc 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 um, but that will be awesome. So anyways guys if you do enjoy this series and you would like to see some more of it Then please make sure to smash that like button comment and subscribe down below if you think I'm a noob You can also tell me that as well, and if you think Emma's a noob you can also tell Emma that um, I think actually though saying that Emma's a noob she's over here uh, And she's just found a mushroom biome. Well done to you Emma. Congratulations. Well anyways guys Thank you so much for watching this video. You've been absolutely awesome, like I said. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!